Hello Future Scientists, my name is Miss Kaylee and welcome back to another Future Scientist story time. Today we are going to be learning all about the exciting world of electricity with Oscar and the Bird, a book about electricity by Jeff Waring. I hope you guys enjoy, let's go ahead and get started. One day, Oscar saw a tractor standing in the field. He climbed up to look in the cab when suddenly the windshield wiper started to move. Swish, swish, how did that happen, Oscar wondered. Bird flew down from her branch. Electricity is making the wiper move, she said. You must have pressed the switch by mistake. What's electricity, Oscar asked. It's a kind of energy that people use to help things move, make sounds light up or heat up, Bird said. Where does it come from, Oscar wanted to know. Bird hopped down to show him the engine. It flows through wires from this battery, she said. The battery has chemicals inside it that makes electricity. It's a very big battery, Oscar said. It's a big battery for a big tractor, Bird said. Batteries come in all shapes and sizes. Even a tiny one can make electricity. And she told Oscar about some other machines that are powered by batteries. Together, these two small batteries can make a strong beam shine from a flashlight. This rechargeable battery has powerful chemicals inside it that can make electricity strong enough to move a toy. This tiny round battery can keep a watch ticking for more than two years. This long, slim battery is powerful too and light, just right for machines you This long, slim bower mm. This long, slim battery is powerful too, and light, just right for machines you carry around and use a lot. Why doesn't the windshield wiper move all the time? Oscar asked. When the switch is off, there is a gap in the wires and the electricity can't get around to the wiper, Bird said. When you press the switch on, the wires join up and the electricity can cross the gap and move to the wiper. Does everything in the tractor need electricity to work? Oscar asked. Some things need electricity, said Bird, like the lights, the radiator, and the wiper. The engine needs electricity to start, too, but it needs gas to make the tractor move. Oscar looked up. Does electricity flow through those wires as well? He asked Bird. Yes, Bird answered. Does that electricity come from a battery too, Oscar asked? No, Bird said. It comes from a power station. It's going to the town so that people can light and heat their homes. Why are the wires in the sky, Oscar wanted to know. So that they're out of reach and you'll be safer, Bird said. They carry lots of electricity and it could be very dangerous if it flowed through you. You should never touch a wire, Oscar. Just then, in the distance, they could see flashes of lightning. Lightning is electricity too, Bird said. There is a kind of electricity all around us, but most of the time we don't see or notice it. Over on the hill, the blades on the wind turbine were turning in the wind. Is electricity helping them move, Oscar asked Bird? No, Bird said. It's the other way around. The wind turns the blades and the movement makes electricity. Then it started to rain. Oscar and Bird rushed back to the tractor. Swoosh, swoosh. The wiper is wiping the water away so that we can see out, Bird said. Then let's not turn it off yet, Oscar said. The end. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, go ahead and give us a like on Facebook, or if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you stop in and check out our Shark Week activities before August 16th. With your paid admission, you will be able to pick up a free shark stem kit from our front desk, or you can purchase one online for $5, which you can pick up at the front desk, or we can bring out to your car for a no-contact delivery. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all again next time. Bye!